six games. He's made three games for Jingle Jam Game Jams. Ooh, amazing. He made Pocket Lewis, Yog Towers, and Shadow of Zephyrus and Honeydew. Ah, oh, amazing. This is out now. This is his first game that he's made entirely on his own. Hello, Ninja Connor. He created this entirely by himself, uh, although the music was licensed from an external source. So all the pixel art, all of the story, all of everything. Oh. How can you say that's not me? Look at me. Who's this based on, Ninja Connor? It's based on me or Lydia. It's me, right? It's a squid. Maybe it's a blender, both of us. It's a green squid. That's totally my jam. Ellery <laughs> or Brindley? <laughs> Brindley. So it just looks exactly like Lydia, says Brindley. There we go. I've got the same bulbous eyes. Sergeant Squidlets. Hell yeah. All right, do you, want, you play this one. Okay, so we have to do a employee self-assessment. Oh, how strong are we? Strong? Uh, not my strong suit, forgive the pun. How strong are you? I'm weak. So one? I'm one. I'm struggling to lift this pen. So we go one strength run. One strength. But investigation? Oh. Which, how high? I, nothing nothing gets ever gets past, past me. And how handy are you? I think I've broken my pen. <laughs> I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. That feels right. I am not the sharpest tool in the shed. You have yeah. one hand on each arm. Yes. Okay, so are we saying where we could be Sherlock Holmes was the champion? Oh. I mean, maybe we did miss a lot in that last game. Maybe, we'd yeah, let's do this. Do we get, shall we get two strengths? Not my strength. Uh, Just so we're not literally. But well, this is meant to be like us, Lewis. Fine, fine. We'll have little we'll be, weak. We'll be handy. Little horrible, weak people. Shall we do the tutorials? Yes. Fine. <laughs> Love the music. Oh. Do you want to be squiddly? No, you can be squiddly. Right, what's squiddly sound like? <sighs> Wait, got to think of an accent now. What's a good one? He's a cop, a grizzled cop. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Don't do that, you'll hurt your voice. <laughs> <laughs> You're already like in bad shape, Lydia. That's um, um, oh, I'm on the spot now. Can he be very posh? Sure, yeah. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Love it. Yellow, squiddly. This works perfectly. Mm, yeah, Bartman. Squiddly speaking. <laughs> Sergeant Squiddly, sir. Officer Gorb here, police HQ. The chief has requested you at this station as soon as possible. <laughs> There's been a murder. <laughs> a murder? Oh, yeah. What's that got to do with me? I'm just a traffic cop. Besides, I'm on some article. This sounds like a case for Lieutenant Dex Beaglaw from Homicide, not me. That's just it, sir. The victim <gasps> is Lieutenant B. Glor. He was found dead this morning. He's been strangled, sir. <laughs> Big fingers. Jumping jelly babies. He was the best cop in town. He was radically a celebrity. That means you're now the most tenured officer on the force, sir. You're next in command. The chief has asked personally <laughs> for you to report in to head up the investigation. This is going to be my shot of the big time. A case like this is going to be my career. Better be careful not to do or say anything stupid. <laughs> <laughs> did I tell you that? I, did I tell you that I'm single now? Well, I'm technically still married, but the divorce is almost finalised. Uh, <laughs> cool, I guess. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see a movie? Well, I'm just wondering if you'd like to come see a movie with me this evening down at the Gigantolops. <laughs> um, well, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we've made them uneasy! <laughs> oh god! I mean, this is true to life! Oh no. We changed it. Oh, it's got relationships. Oh. oh, that was smooth. Love it. Hello, Officer Gore. Hmm, she must have been disconnected. Oh well, better get to the station. I'll need to get dressed first, of course, but I do need to do anything. Do I need to do anything else right? I leave? Oh, and it's time basis. This game is banging. Okay. Love it. So keep an eye on your time. You are in Squidly's apartment. Crampton Dingy living space haunted by the ever present smell of milk long expired. Right. Well, I think we should. I think we should change clothes. Change clothes. Um. <laughs> A skilled. We have to find out. This is actually something you do need to do if you. I imagine getting into the office. Oh my God. Failed a few skill checks on the way here, Lydia. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I did actually, yeah. 
Mm. Bless you. Sorry, I'm suddenly allergic to, I think, the smell of old milk in this apartment. <laughs> All right, so um, let's try and get dressed. Are we capable of doing that? Uh, if we've got, like, fumble fingers, we're not going to be able to wear our cop, cop outfit and do the tie-up properly. Whoa! Oh, what's this in the bottom of the wardrobe? Why, it's my old saxophone. Oh. I was going to practice this every day. I can't believe I forgot about it. <laughs> Hell yeah, saxophone. Now, back to the matter at hand. Clothes make a man. Oh, my God. Okay, we got a dress right. Hell yeah. So police, police uniform, uniform we can't just wear underwear. Fit. Look at that, nice little corset number. There we oh, go. We're ready for a day of work. Okay, we're dressed. Uh, okay. <laughs> we can practice saxophone. I think that's important. We can get a snack. We can get, shall we want to practice the saxophone? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Bit of practice wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hell yeah! Oh shit, our saxophone skills improved. I think that will be important in solving this. That's case. how we're gonna woo Officer Gore. We're gonna woo her with a bit of saxophone. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, cool! Looks like it's from my wife. I mean, my ex-wife, Mona. Answer the call. Hey, Mona, how's things? Squidly, you forgot, haven't you? Forgotten what? You bitch, <laughs> Milton, our son. You promised you'd use your sabbatical to spend time with him. He's waiting by the front door right now for you to come pick him up. <laughs> oh, I'll be right there. Oops, sorry. I'll be right there. Good. <laughs> See you soon, you useless sack of flesh and tentacles. <laughs> Murder and Milton still live in our old house in the suburbs. Our suburbs area unlocked. Oh my God, we're a deadbeat dad. We're a deadbeat dad. Very impressed with your accents and your voice acting today, Lewis. Thanks. You're selling this to me. Do you want to get a snack? I think we'll be all right. Let's all get right. to. Let's got. But wait, well, our child's outside. There's been a murder, and we have to pick <laughs> up our son. <laughs> but let's, we, let's, but let's take him to the mur the crime scene. Okay, sure. Lone Bronco. You're in the apartment. lobby of the Lone Bronco apartment <laughs> complex. All the, the deadbeat dads live standard. there. Standard. All right, where are we going? Do you uh, want to check the mail? Yeah, check the mail. Why can't Maybe we... not. Maybe let's just get let's just get out of. What, where's our child? We just we just left him. No, he's um he's in the suburbs. Oh. Okay, so do you want to pick him up now? Yes. All right. You can collect these items. You can review the character you've met. Do you think you know the killer? <gasps> make an accusation. Accuse. We have until midnight. midnight. This is such a great game. Loving it. Okay, so we've got all these different Love places. The art There's the well. suburbs. Moontropolis. Moontropolis. So there's three places we can go. Our apartments, the police HQ, and suburbs. So let's go suburbs. Let's pick up baby boy. It's going to be an hour. An hour. Get it's bloody miles away. You are in the Moontropolis suburbs, home to countless families and all manner of domestic drama. Not said quite a life here once. Oh my god. Squidly residence. I mean, we're back on the horse. Squidly! There you are! What took you so fucking long? Milton's ready to go. He's been looking forward to a fun day with his father, haven't you, Milton? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually. Um. We'll have a great. We'll have a great time. Won't we, Milton? You're going to learn what daddy does at work. <laughs> Just make sure I have him back here before 8 o'clock tonight! He's got a dance recital! <laughs> oh, He's gonna look pretty! <laughs> Let's go have some fun! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I guess we leave, take our son to the dead body. It's bonding, <laughs> we're bonding. Daddy, son, bonding. You're on the Again, road. we are a daddy. We're a papa daddy. A second game in a row where we play as a daddy. daddy. It's not in purpose. All right, boom. Son, welcome to the real world. Excuse me, officer. Mm, squidly. Sergeant Squidly. Oh, I'm Pippi Freep with Moontropolis News. 
I'm here covering the Dex Beagler murder case. <gasps> An acquaintance. Do you have time for a quick interview? Careful, Dad. I've seen her on TV. I've seen her on TV. on TV. She's pretty ruthless. Let's do it. Sure, I've always wanted to be on TV. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Let's get started. Sergeant Squidley, what can you tell me about the circumstances surrounding Dex Beagle's death? Uh... <laughs> 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 you cheese it. <laughs> oh, I heard he was murdered. People don't tell me much else, though. <laughs> Very informative. <laughs> Moving on. Do you believe that this killing was gangland related? Dex Beaglaw did make a lot of enemies when he infiltrated Big Mama Zod's alleged crime syndicate ten years ago. Uh, line of inquiry? Yes. Yeah. Tracking very seriously, but we have no further details right now. I see. So nothing definite yet. Final question. With violent crime on the rise, what are the people doing about all of this? Uh... <laughs> Do it, you know you want it. <laughs> Nobody's doing anything. The chief is just sitting on his fat ass all day picking his nose. Well, surprisingly strong words there from Sergeant Squidly. And we get fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the chief is uneasy. We said he had a fat ass. Thank you for your time, Sergeant. I'll let you get back to your very important work. You're in the lobby of Police HQ. Oh. It is a hub of activity. TV news reporter Pippi Freeb. Is on site with the camera crew. What do you think, Lydia? Mm. Should we talk to the fat ass chief? Oh, we've already upset him. Mm. Oh! Shit. Mm, you send for me, sir. Swimley! <laughs> it's about time you got here! Don't you know there's a crime to be solved? You're going to be absolutely fucking dead later. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yes, sir. Surgeon Swimily reporting for duty, sir. Hold on a second. <laughs> Is that your kid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I was supposed to take him for a day out today. So you're bringing him <laughs> to a murder investigation? You're a loose cannon, Swimley, I'll give you that. I presume you know why I called you here. Beaglaw's dead, and he was our best guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't got a medium to help him interview, investigate his own murder. So you'll have to do. <laughs> the media's been all over this one. Dex was a real big shot. We need to nail this one real quick. I'm going to give you till Sunday midnight to get it done. If you could get it done any quicker, great. Oh, that's a tight deadline. <laughs> Get over to the gang, lads, and check out the crime scene if you haven't already. Sarlap's already there. He can show you around. Go and check out Dex's house in the suburbs. Ooh, I love his big old chin. His widow and kid give you any back talk. Slap him with this. <laughs> Just slap him. Search warrant. Let's go. So why aren't you solving this yet? Get going. Yes, sir. All right, right. we've got to go to his that, that house. We've got to slap the wife. We've got to slap the child. We've got to ask cupboard. her out on a date because now she's single. Perfect. Mm, Is there anything we want to do whilst there. we're in here? The bullpen. Pop in. I will pop in. Why not as we're here? You stand in the bullpen. A sea of dark blue cubicles stretches out before you. Officer Gorb stands timidly by the door. Should chat for Corb. Uh. <coughs> what is this? <laughs> She's the one we asked out, right? Yeah, I remember hang on. Um, what's she? West Country. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sergeant Swimley, it's you. Uh, up to much outside work. <laughs> <laughs> so, you up to much outside work? Uh, with all due respect, sir, I'd rather not discuss my personal life with you. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should apologise. Uh, sure. I'd like to apologize for before. Can we start over? Uh, sure, why not? If we're going to work together, we need to learn to get along. Hey! Wait! Now we can date her? On Flinter. Wowie! Hell yeah! Online dating. You know how much I love a romance in a game. If you annoy them, then they still may choose to block you. What? Okay. I love how she had no interest in us. I'm, I'm just going to go and uh, go use my computer for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Should we talk to her about Dex Beak? Yeah. If we could, I love that my name is now swimmingly, just permanently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we could talk about Dex Beagler for a bit. Um, Where was he found? Maybe I can check on the crime scene. Lieutenant Beaglaw's body was found in the ganglands in a dingy alley. Terrible end for such a hero. Who are the Prime Suspects? Lieutenant Beaglaw certainly made a few enemies in his career. All sorts of criminals would be glad he's gone. It's not my place to speculate. Chief can probably give you more info. Where did Beaglaw live? No Never mind. <laughs> All right, see ya. See right. You on, see you on Flinder. See you on Flinder, baby. We're now Sergeant Swimley. <laughs> Love it. I <laughs> love it. All right. We're at my desk. Use computer. Time? Oh. Time to tell the information. Super highway. <laughs> oh, wait. Sorry. I thought you. that was the child speaking. <laughs> yes. Age is just a number. Height, sexy. Location, don't have premium. Message, please. <laughs> Squid Lord 68. Now, he's a more a fan of the 68, which is an interesting maneuver. You'll be very bendy. <laughs> That's how you hurt your back. <laughs> 65 followed by the 68 really did my back in. 69 minus 1 <laughs> is 68, yeah. It's just you do it on your 69 own. 69 minus 1 is just by yourself. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Uh, <clears throat> Officer Gore, visual superior, I order you on a date with me. I think that's I a bit dodgy. I don't think you do that, sir. I'll, I'll go of my own free will, though. Perfect. Now, to choose the venue, let's see where it's open at this time. I love that we're supposed to be solving a crime. Let's just go on a date. Hmm, I can't think of anywhere. Maybe I should wait a while. I'll try to discover some new locations. Okay, we need to find... We haven't found anywhere that we haven't found somewhere to take her. Milton this week! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Swimley. I was wondering if... <laughs> since you were on sabbatical this week... Can you take some time to reconnect with Milton? He's been asking about you a lot since the divorce, I think. You sometimes get all be good. I can't have a video. Click to my house in the morning at eight. Mona. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh. Business proposal. Yeah. From Highness Clawback III. <laughs> Hello, kind Swimley. I am His Highness Clawback III, the deposed Emperor of Titan. I've heard you're a good man. I approach you with a business proposal. <laughs> When I was forced to flee my palace, I hid a large sum in Bank of Titan in a secret account. To access this sum of 25 million zorbs, <laughs> I require the assistance of a kind and trustworthy assistant. I believe you meet this description. If you are agreeable to help me, I can pr promise you a commission fee. 40% of my total amount. That is 80, uh, so 10 million zorbs paid to you in cash. On my arrival, all that I require is... Confirm your assistance with an advanced investment deposit of 150 Zorbs sent by online money transfer. With this cash, I may pay the processing fee of the bank and retrieve the money. I look forward to working on this fortunate venture. Oh, we your got loyal oh. servant, Clawback Third. We got to do this. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dear Clawback, sorry to hear about you being deposed. I would, of course, love to be your business partner. Looking forward to seeing you soon and spending the cash. Your friends swimmingly. This is, I think this is going to be big bucks. This That's going to pay off. This is going to pay off. We can oh, take man. our babe on a hot date. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Looks we like spent all, spend all our money. You spent all your money. <laughs> oh, you, every morning at 7 a.m. you get a small amount of universal basic income. We can bust <gasps> it. Let's go play our saxophone. Okay, well, we need to practice more. Well, we can't. We can't. We're not going to get many tips if we're terrible. No, well. we were rubbish. Let's go to. Just check our drawers if, in case we have a gun. Police badge. That'll be helpful. Boom. Uh, ooh, I mean, of course. Yeah, my badge. That's exactly where I knew it was. Sweet. Um, oh, strawberry yogurt. This man is a, a fan of old dairy products. Ah, traffic vines, the bread and butter of the working day. Wait. What's that? Your baby picture? So I think it's cute. Oh my god, that's Oh, that's adorable. I can't believe you have it up for everyone to see. You're so embarrassing, Dad. Cool. I love your son. <laughs> oh, son. I love your son. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Let's go slap that widow. Okay, Pibby Free, nice to speak to you. All right, let's go and um, check out that body. 
Check out the body in the ganglands. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh! You're on the mean streets of the ganglands. A burning car at the side of the road reminds you of just how dangerous this place can be. Crime scene. We don't need to pawn. We could pawn our saxophone. Oh, right. no, we need it for busking. Officer Sarlap. Hello, Swimmingly. I mean, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Swimmingly. Hello, Mini Swimmingly. Good to see you both here. Well, not here, glad here, because this is obviously a crime scene. But I am glad <laughs> to see you in this sad location. <laughs> so, what's the haps with the crime scene? At 0500 hours this morning, we received an anonymous call reporting a body hidden in this ear dumpster. The call was traced and found to have originated in the City Hall Sanitation Department. Mm, sanitation, eh? I might have to check that out. That sounds like a lovely place for a date. <laughs> yeah. The body was later identified as one Lieutenant Dex Beeglaw, the most famed crime buster of the Moontropolis PD. Any theories on what happened? Well, as an officer of the law, I feel duty-bound to deal only with facts and avoid hypotheticals. If we allow the law to be steered by flights of fancy and imagination, then there is no justice at all. Uh-huh. I admire your principles, Sarlap. Uh, you're afraid about the book, aren't you? Yes. And please do not pass remark on your admiration of my behaviour. It may distort my impartiality. Uh -huh. Tell me about the body. Uh, Lieutenant Beeglaw's body was discovered in this sanitary receptacle in a state unbecoming of a man of his gravitas. It appears that several wounds have been inflicted, varying in type, from stabbing to crushing. Of course, until a full autopsy has been performed, it would be remiss of me to speculate on their cause. Autopsy, you say? How would I arrange one of those? Well, autopsy facilities are generally available at the Moontropolis Police HQ Crime Lab. However, since, sudden, since the sudden departure of the latest coroner, they are currently suspended. Hmm, I wonder if I could perform the autopsy myself. I mean, how hard can it be? He's already dead. Can't you zone out for a second? <laughs> oh, it's nothing, son. Just nothing. Just thinking. <laughs> uh, tell me about the anonymous tip-off. Well, the person who reported the crime used a telephone located in the City Hall Sanitation offices. Mm, and... That is all the information that I have. No theories, no names, nothing. For further information, the best course of action would be to inquire at City Hall. Mm, get this body out of here. We can't just leave Beagle lying in a dumpster. Certainly, sir. Where shall we send him? To the crime lab. <laughs> Take another crime lab. It's <laughs> time we did an autopsy. <laughs> Immediately, sir. <laughs> He, he gives big Zoidberg vibes. I'm loving him. Uh, okay. See you, Sarlap. Parting salutations to you, Sergeant Swimley. Okay. Search the... Uh, alley, search the dumpster. Search either. Search the alley. Hey, Sarlap, get over here. Yes, sir. What's that big grey building over there? I believe that is the Underworld Club, sir, a nighttime establishment run by known criminal Big Mama Zod. That's Underworld, eh? Big Mama was no fan of Beagle after he put her in prison back in the day. It might be worth paying a visit. Oh, I did the other. I searched the dumpster. It's just a load of trash. But wait, this coffee cup is still warm. I can't make out the name on it, but it came from the Krusty Donut Cafe downtown. It's a long shot, but this could have belonged to Beeglaw. Man, I'm loving this. The cake. old Krusty Donut. This is so good. This is brilliant. Like you this. You are absolutely knocking it out of the park here. Amazing. This is like ticking all the things I love in a game. Ninja Connor is really killing it. It's got like the relationships. It's got the like the mystery, the investigation, He's done funny all the pixel dialogue, art himself. the pixel art, the very colourful, colourful, like funny. It's so good. Isn't it great? Really good. I can't believe you just did this by yourself. All right, what shall we do? Do we want to exit to the underworld entrance? It's good you came to the crime scene on day one. The longer you leave it, the more Beagle decomposes and the less evidence you can get from him. Like, stuff like that. That's so, like, intricate and clever. Well, it's, it's, not, it's not nighttime. Do you know what I mean? 
This is the underworld. Oh, club. it won't be pumping and jumping until later. I don't reckon we should go until night time. No. Can we go do the autopsy? Yes. Well, we'd have to do it ourselves. That's all right. I'm, I'm up for that. <laughs> <laughs> do you think we're skilled enough with our hands uh, to do an autopsy? Uh, uh, Where was that donut shop? Crusty Donut. Yeah, wait. We need to go there. God, there's a lot to there's a lot of things to investigate. What I'm about the pawn shop? Quite conscious of time, though. What about the pawn shop? We could. I mean, but I don't think we need to sell anything. I think that's a way. Oh, that's just for money. making some money. Okay. I would imagine. I don't want to waste. Right. Time. You're getting hungry. Well, right. we're going to a donut. We're going to the crusty donut. We don't have any money though. Shit. We might be able to busk for a bit. Of money. Let's busk, and then buy a crusty donut. We're not dying of hunger. Is this the, is this where we can go and busk? Gigantaplex. Oh, it's a cinema. Hmm. Flixie Flex. Let's talk to Flixie. Maybe oh she's a God. babe. Gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Is Welcome to Gigantaplex. How can I help you? Mm, Dale Vatterday's movie. Uh, today's movie is Mars Men, and the first in the series, when robots invade Mars, the only man willing to take a stand is former mercenary John Marsman, <laughs> battling his own inner demons and PTSD. <laughs> he wages a bloody campaign of revenge. It's a great movie, a lot grittier than the sequels have followed. I w wouldn't recommend it for children, though. See ya. Oh, well... Okay. Yeah, bye. I haven't got enough money to do anything. We're broke. Maybe we shouldn't have sent all our money to that man. I think it's going to come back in abundance. We're going to be very rich eventually. Uh, can't buy coffee and a donut. We can talk to Sal. You can busk in the uptown area or perform in Underworld. Oh, right. Okay. To access Uptown, the quickest way to check your mailbox. Uh, I told there. you to check the mailbox and you were like, yeah. We've wasted all our money. We're going to starve to death. We are going to starve to death. <laughs> this is not ideal. Before we can accuse anyone. And then you call, is there anything we could eat, like for free, like out of a bin or something? <laughs> is there any free food lying around? Let's talk to of. Sal, the donut guy. Yeah? You want something or are you just looking at my pretty face? How's business? Well... If it ain't the best when I'm wasting time talking to squid guys, I don't buy nothing. I'm broke. How long have you worked here? Long time, not quite as long as you're going without buying something. Get the hit? Shit, we need to buy something. Next blue, you ever come? He's not going to talk to us, is he, until we buy something. Sorry, pal. My customers generally expect a certain level of privacy. Circle of trust and all that. How do I get into the circle? Same way everyone else does. By being a loyal customer, capiche? Shit. Hmm. Milton will be five and fine until eight. All right. We need to get ten bucks. Ten bucks. Let's go busk. So we can busk uptown or in the underworld. He said. Was that right? Uptown or underworld? Yeah. Well, it's getting to getting. Even, it's getting four o'clock. Maybe underworld will open now. It's only like right next door, and we haven't unlocked uptown. Let's just okay. quickly pop back to the ganglands and try playing the sax on stage for some tips. This is my hope. Oh, it... Hmm. No, mm, no answer. Yet. I guess nobody's home. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go uptown. Yeah. You can eat for free at your apartment. Okay. Let's just go home and eat. Get oh, tired. Op oh, Underworld opens at 8 p.m. and you're not properly dressed. <laughs> okay. All right, check the lob the, the post box while we're here as well. Got any mail? It's in front of the post box. Hmm. Let's see what we have in the old postal receptacle. There's a flyer for a restaurant. Luigi. Oh, overrunning. I just realised we got one more to do. Okay, we're gonna have to stop anyway. This is Sergeant Squiddy Space Cop. It is amazing. Ah. Ninja Connor. I really wish we could carry on playing this. It's awesome. Uh, we are going to play Casebook oh. 1899 next. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. We're going to take five. 
and then we're going to check out another of the Tiny Team's games. You can check this out. It's out now. Check it, um, buy it, play it. This is I'm going to get it. This is so good. Out now. This is so freaking That's good. That's not what it is. It's not that. It's Sergeant Squidly Space Cop on Steam. Um, made by Ninja Connor. Go and support him. And give you his love. Give you give you his love. Give you his give him love. Your love. It's still on discount. Look, it's only eight pounds. It's only eight quid. Bargain. Um, go and do it now while we have a quick break. Super impressed, Connor. Ninja Connor, you're the best. If Thank you're ever in you. Bristol, I'll buy you a drink, my, my good man. All right. See you soon, everyone. Five minutes. Bloop. 